So this is a quick little video on how to do a line graph in Excel and actually have the dates register on the x-axis. You might hear my dog in the background. I'm recording this in the living room and the dogs are playing. So just uh, know that that's the sounds you're hearing. So before we were selecting a set of data, we were going to the insert field of Excel and then going to line graph and then it would Excel would auto-fill every single date in between 925, our first date, and the last date, and it decided to increase them by increments of two days, even though that's not the specific dates that we had administered things. So it was bothering me how we were going to actually fix this. Um, one option was we were just going to select the data itself, press insert, and go to a line graph and then we would have we would have a chart but then we'd only have session numbers and not the actual dates so I figured out how to fix this so going back to this one where we had selected all the data pressed insert and it went to the line graph and created this graph here first I'm going to fix the y-axis because we can't possibly have more than a hundred percent so I'm going to format the axis and change the maximum to 1. So that changed it to 100%. Now I'm going to format the x-axis by right-clicking and I'm in, again I'm in a PC so when I right-click I just do a right-click on Apple I think it's a control click. Format axis and this time I go to this thing where it says axis options. The default is that it automatically selects based on data. If I change that to text axis it will treat these values as um, individual pieces of data and will actually use the exact dates that I have. What I want is the text axis and that will allow you to use the actual dates in this column and that's how you fix the x-axis to have actual dates that you administered data on.